In SolidCam 2008, we're introducing a new option called Templates. What Templates does is it allows me to take either one operation or a group of operation, add them into one template, and allows me to use that into a different operation. If I were to go into Settings, we can see in Settings we have something called Template Defaults, which allows me to have templates for every single type of operation, whether it be in 2.5D milling, face, profile, whatever you see over here, this entire list over here, or whether it be a template of 3D milling with all their operations, HSM, simultaneous 5-axis, whichever operation we have in milling, we can add a template to. To create a template for a single operation, I'll simply go into existing operation in this particular case, and I'll use all the information that I have here. For instance, we're using a contour roughing. Uh, we have a particular tool, 20 millimeter end mill, with all its feeds and speeds as we've uh, created before. Uh, our passes with a thickness of 0.3 millimeters, and I want to save this as a particular template. I'll go into my Save Templates area and I'll call this template Rough 1. And I'll save it. Now, if I were to exit and now choose Operations, Operations HSM, everything is blank. You can see my passes here. No tools is actually filled in. However, if I go into my Open Template over here, I simply choose the template that I've created and as you can see all the information has come in my diameter my passes exactly the way I had it in my template itself we also have the option of creating a template from a group of operations say I want to take the all these operations that I've created here for this particular part and use this technology on a different part all I simply have to do is choose all of these operations, right click and say create template and I'll give the name of this group as group 1. Now I'm gonna go use this, op this particular template by loading a different part. I'll open a new operation that I've created before and as you can see when this operation loads there are no operations over here. Everything is empty. Now I want to add the operations that I've used on the previous part. All I simply have to do is go to operations, add operations from template, and I see here I have group one. Now in group one you can see I have all of these operations here that I've created. If I want I can take one particular operation, I can change the order or change it back. Okay, I can use any number of these, I can use only three of these if I want, or use the entire group. Or by using the entire group, I just click on the entire group and I do select. Of course, one of the things I must do, however, is when, it, when I do select, it asks me which MAC position I want to use. Now, if I had more than one MAC position, I'd see all the list of MAC positions over here. Since over here I only have one MAC position, so I have no problem, all I have to do is OK and you'll see that all the operations will load onto the screen over here. All I have to do now is simply go into each operation, edit, and just choose my geometries wherever needed and do save and calculate. I do not have to go into passes to change my passes because all my passes are already loaded from the previous operation. At a single operation, obviously, all I have to do now is just go into operations add operation from template and I'll use my single template of rough. When I do select my single M template will automatically be added to the table itself without having to choose anything else. All I have to do now is simply go in here, edit, and any information that has to be added if, I, if my boundaries, so if I want to change the boundaries, all this can be done over here and all I have to do at the end will be save and calculate. Another option we have within templates is that I can have a, an operation automatically load with a template. To have this done I first have to go into my settings and if I open my settings we have the area called templates and defaults. 
as you can see we have fields for each one of our type of operations and in this particular case I'll use HSM and I'll choose contour roughing you see all these operations here and I've already created a template for contour roughing now if I were to go into my list I can see if I had more than one I can see the list the entire list of templates that I have for contour roughing in this particular case all I have is one and I'll choose it and I'll do OK now if I were to start my add operations of HSM and we had contour roughing you'll note that my template is automatically loaded into the part and it just continue choosing my geometries if necessary or my constraint boundaries and just simply do save and calculate without having to go into passes all these up all these t uh, parameters are already defined within this operation through the template